Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is I, Bean Turtle, and today I'm going to show you how to fix um, the frame rate issues and such that I've seen a lot in Modern Warfare. I had so many the first week on launch and the first weekend that uh, so many issues with frame rate, so many issues with uh, uh, frame uh, stuttering and, and uh, hitching that I actually thought the game was essentially unplayable on la at launch. I mean, I, I was able to play it, you know, I played it a good bit, and um, it, it, it's been a lot of fun so far, you know, I, I'm level 40 now, but um, it felt so hard to play, even though I have an RTX 3080 and a very high tier uh, CPU to go along with it. So it's been kind of, you know, rough at the beginning, but... Um, so I actually saw earlier today in a Twitter post that the devs at uh, Activision had worked with NVIDIA to release a driver's update uh, hotfix for, um, the, to fix some of the hitching and the stuttering problems that uh, they were having in Modern Warfare. And so uh, if you follow that link that is in that uh, Twitter post, um, it actually takes you to um, the link I have in the description, which is to the GeForce hotfix driver, which is uh, driver um, number 526.61. If you go into GeForce Experience uh, on PC right now and try to update it from, um, I think it's 52647, I think is the number of the current driver, it actually doesn't quite show up yet, because this came out... Um, uh, literally um, today, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, and they, I don't think they've added it to it yet. Um, but uh, also, it's it's kind of a beta driver. If you go to through this link that they have, it takes you to the NVIDIA website through uh, something that I vetted to make sure it was safe before you know I just threw something on my computer, and um, it uh, it is indeed a, an official NVIDIA product, and it is um, something that they have uh, done that has solved seemingly all of the frame issues I've had. Um, I've gone from um, having um, 120 frames then with like severe random frame drops and freezing to um, essentially flawless gameplay and I mean you could see it in the background of course the video is rendered at 60 FPS but I mean there's not really much stuttering at all not really much many frame drops at all um, I'm playing invasion mode right now and it's seemingly flawless um, but uh, I digress so um, once you download that driver, it'll uh, take a second, of course, you download it through uh, like whatever browser you have, Google Chrome or anything like that, and then uh, you're going to have to open it and install it. It'll ask um, where in the directory to put it. Actually, I wouldn't, unless you know what you're doing, which I do not, <laughs> I would not recommend um, let, uh, telling, like changing the directories or anything that it's going to install the drivers in um, because it has it figured out itself. And then what it'll do is once it's done installing, it'll uh, give you the opportunity to decide whether or not you want an express or a custom installation as well as to download uh, GeForce Experience. Um, now I'm not in any way like related to uh, NVIDIA, but um, when it comes to business stuff, but uh, GeForce Experience is a pretty nice thing. It allows me to record a lot of my videos. Um, like the overlay is really nice since so you can get shadow play and that sort of thing. Um, so I do recommend using it. It's kind of cool. Um, but uh, it is not uh, a ne uh, necessity at all. And then uh, you could either download just the driver or uh, the G GeForce Experience and the driver. So um, there is that option there. But after that, you're done. I would say um, immediately after that, uh, open uh, Modern Warfare to see if it fixes your problems. Um, if it doesn't do it automatically, which for me it actually uh, automatically started reinstalling my shaders, um, immediately uh, go into your settings in Modern Warfare 2 and reinstall your, sh your shaders or re-optimize your shaders or whatever they call it. And uh, give it a second to... Um, it takes a while, of course, but I mean, after it was done with the shaders, it was like while it was doing the shading, the shader optimization, it was super laggy. After it was done with the shader optimization, it was uh, unbelievably like buttery smooth. Now, I've been playing Invasion for several hours now, and I felt nothing but you know, good, you know, no, no frame drops. You know, it's it, it's been great. It, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, thank you very much for watching. If if it does, please be sure to tell me in the comments. I, I hope I hope it does help. And if it doesn't. Um, uh, maybe some other people in the comments can help you out too. I know that there are some pretty uh, uh, good, well technically minded people on the internet, um, and there's some uh, strange workarounds. I know another workaround is to back up to a driver. Um, it's like it's the 522 era driver, um, which you can do through the NVIDIA website as well. Um, but I don't recommend doing that unless you want to. Uh, you are willing to accidentally mess up other games on PC because sometimes that happens. Um, I played this game called I play this game called Planet Side 2 every once in a while 
and that game doesn't always run well on some of the newer RTX drivers because it is so old that it doesn't work with them. <laughs> and so um, sometimes the newest drivers can mess up older games. Uh, other times nothing happens, and sometimes the performance of everything gets better. It's really kind of random to me, to be brutally honest. Um, but uh, anyway, I hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if it did. I will make some more uh, content on uh, Modern Warfare 2 and other games that I play. So, so have a nice day.